What's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something I've been working on for about 4 or 5 days now and I must say it's pretty well detailed. But before we get started on the showcase video, can you do me a favour and hit the like button, don't forget to comment your thoughts on the video and don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't, it does really help me out if you do. So with all that said, today's video we're going to be showcasing off my, how do I put it, my Atlantis control towers, gate room, and other little bits within the tower. Now the tower is essentially just a giant tower that you blueprint in as a base. It's not a ship, it's huge, and obviously I can't build the rest of the city, obviously, for reasons, because they're like the city's like three and a half miles in diameter. But I built the control tower, now as you can see, it's way over there in the distance. But we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to gate to it. Now, before we uh, do this, just so I let you know, this is a bit of a editing trick. The, the Stargate does not teleport you. We do not have Stargate mods. So before <laughs> you get your hopes up, it's only an editing trick. So here we go. Now, why are the gates dialing up? What do you think of my Stargate ruins I've made with these columns? The new update. I think, I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, guys, here we go. And this is Atlantis, my version. Now, what do you guys think of this? Now, I've done a lot of work on this particular gate room with the small grid using various blueprints. I found set designs, photos, like, oh, I put a lot of work into this to try and get it to look exactly how it should using the Space Engineers blocks. I might throw up a couple um, screenshots here just to show you. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So we're going to take a little look around the uh, tower of what I've done. So obviously this is the gate room. As you're well aware, we have these uh, awesome staircase that I did a lot of work on here. Obviously we don't have any of the ancient writing at the bottom, but I did have these plates that look pretty cool. So essentially, we'll go check the control room and work our way to the jumping bay and then work our way down. So, we can come up these stairs. Obviously run up the middle, otherwise you get a little bit stuck. We have our balcony that we have our uh, act or our characters in the show spend a lot of time on. Very cool. Now we have the control room. Now obviously I can't angle the tables at an angle. <clears throat> they have to go like on 90 degrees, so obviously they're not quite angled correctly, but Done, I've done a fair job at summarizing where the uh, desks and that go and we do have a like the DHD here so we can turn it off here right, find the button so obviously this turns the Stargate off Whoa. and then obviously the dial exactly the same as before it dials up the Stargate <clears throat> we do have a few screens here that just have a few diagrams this looks pretty cool as you can see, the Stargate dials up and it's blue, like the Stargate in Atlantis, and activates just like my other models. So I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to go over to Dr. Weirs, Do uh, Dr. Weirs, Colonel Cutters, and um, uh, Woolsey's office, which is across the balcony here. Obviously, the office is a little bigger than what it is in the show because I, well, I just needed to fit a few more things in. Obviously, I've got the Atlantis control tower made by Dr. McKay in the office, because this is where the boss sits. So, it's pretty cool. But over, over here, when you blueprint it in, you want to come to here and you want to uh, do the bay doors reset. Now, I'll show you the, the bay doors up here. Oh. So, we have jumper bay doors and a tower bay doors. Obviously, when you blueprint it in, if the doors are shut, they fuse together and they won't open, so you have to spawn it in with the doors open. Now, obviously, the blueprint already have the doors open, but when you spawn it in, just come into the office and do the reset. 
and essentially what happens is it just closes both the doors so we don't so we have to so you don't have to worry about messing up when you want to do some actions so we're gonna head up to the jumper bay now and show you the jumper bay quick before we head down the tower and show you the rest of it here's the jumper bay now we've got a few jumpers in there, only three, and we got a uh, an arm over here. Now, this arm's pretty cool. Now, what I need to do is take the jumper. Disengage it, turn engines on, load ramp. And you want to specifically in the right place, otherwise... Which is roughly there. Now, obviously, you'll get you'll get the hang of it. But if you don't put it in the right place, it doesn't work. So it should be locked, right? So we want to turn off our engines to make sure this doesn't mess up, and we want to close the bay door, the jumper door as well. Now that should be perfectly positioned. So this is basically the jump bait, and at the end of the video, I'll take a jumper out the hangar so you can see it all work. But first, I want to show you what I just did then. Now, this is purely a cosmetic thing I thought was pretty cool. You don't have to use it if you blueprint it in, do whatever you like. But essentially, I got these buttons here, which is like jumper deploy, jumper back. So if I do jumper deploy, if you watch, bay doors open, swings the jump around. And then lowers it down into the gate room. Like like if you would like obviously there's no crane in the show. They do it by all pilot. By full, you know, the crane thing was pretty cool and it just acts as a pretty cool pretty cool feature that I like. Like I said, you'd have to use it and send it back, you just you jump it back. And then take it back, it does it all automatically. Pretty sweet. But again, it's just purely a cosmetic thing just to show it kind of coming down. If you want to do some like role playing stuff. And obviously the bay door shut. So that's the jumpers. All right, obviously we've got lots of other corridors and stuff we'll get to in a minute. We're going to come over to the briefing room. Which we uh, have here. Brief room. Now I went with like Woolsey's table. Because it's like a long table and I can make that. Whereas I can't make the triangle table. Or the like the U shaped time on the one. We've got like a little... Uh, bar here. Now, this is the briefing room. It's not much else in it. Alright, so we're going to basically show you the rest of the tower. So, or the rest of the top section of the tower. So we're going to come over here. here. On the other side of Dr. Weir's office, we have a stairwell that goes down. We don't have to go down there for a minute. And then we have a stairwell that goes down here. And it cuts into here. This most of the tower is empty for you to do whatever you like with, but like, you know, obviously I had to do loads of other things. So if you see, come down, we're now right side of the Stargate. We have a corridor here that takes us around the back. Obviously you come through here. I don't know what it is with the ancients, but they love their chairs. So there's lots of chairs everywhere. Obviously this goes around the back. We have another stairwell here that goes down. And obviously more chairs on the other side of the, of the stairs. And then we have our gear up room, which has got all our lockers in. Basically, it's like the changing room for the gate, and we got like a little toilet and showers there. So obviously we have a a, uh, a shaft that goes down to the ancient chairs uh, or the ancient chair platform down down the bottom but we're gonna take the stairs so we I can show you more and we can come up the elevator at the end so essentially again we're on the now the left side of the stargate you know all these doors kind of match up with the show so I did a like pretty good job we're gonna take some stairs and obviously I've got some stairs that go up to where the briefing room is which is over here and we got a nice little lounge for after the briefing so we're gonna come down and go all the way down again. Now we're like, um, where are we? 
Right, we're, this is the med bay. Or the infirmary. So this is where, like, you know, Dr. Beckett uh, or Dr. Keller would work. It's pretty spacious. Not bad. Yeah, obviously, come down here, we have um, a couple crew quarters. I didn't go too mad because there's crew quarters all over the place. I uh, already got two. They go, both got toilets and stuff. There's one there, and the other one's on the other side there. Two in here. There it is. And we got a couple storage bays because I thought, you know, got to put a few uh, storage bays in. Because I've seen a couple of storage cupboards on blueprints and stuff. So we're going to come over down here. And now we have the mess hall. Now the mess hall is pretty, uh, pretty spacious because it is in the show. And it's proper lighting, tables and stuff. And we got like, I don't, re I don't really know where they get their food from. I don't know. If there's like a cafeteria area or there's a separate room. It doesn't really show in the blueprints. It just shows a dining room. Why? Well, uh, mess hall, should I say? But I thought I'd put in like a like a school cafeteria kind of like you walk up here with your tray, pick what you want, or someone serves you what you want. This is a bit of cosmetic. And we have a small balcony here as well, which is quite nice. With a bit of seating area to look over the view. So that's the mess hall. So most of it's generally symmetrical, so you ain't gonna miss much. So obviously, where we just come up here, so that's a stairwell. This stairwell goes up to, if I believe, Dr. Weir's office. Yeah, Dr. Weir's office. So that's that stairwell. And then we come down and this stairwell, which is through here, goes up to the back of the stairs in the gate room. So that's obviously the Stargate like platform there. If you come through it, so that's Stargate. So there's plenty of ways to get down. And obviously in the show, there's many stairwells. But obviously in the show, we have teleports, but we, I don't have teleports in there. So, this is this level, so it's mess hall, a couple quarters, and obviously the, the uh, infirmary. So we're going to come down. Like I said, most of the tower is pretty bare because there's so much I could fill and not enough PCU. So this is the ancient chair room. Now I've done a pretty cool job in it. Obviously I've made a, an ancient chairs like platform. And the best thing of all, you come to this button panel. It lights up blue and it spins around to simulate obviously when John Shepard flies or whoever's in the chair. Pretty cool. Obviously the giant screen there. And you can also sit in it as well. Obviously I put little uh, control panels on each of the arms to simulate that gooey stuff. That's pretty cool, I like it. So obviously this is the only thing on this level I think. Apart from the lab, so this is, this is where Dr. McKay's lab would be, but obviously it's basically empty because I, I just want you guys to fill it out how you want, just kind of make the shell, you guys fill it. So this is where the elevator would, like, essentially the elevator would take you to the gate room, so it takes us up here. And now we're obviously gate room level, see, come back down. We've got labs and we've got like a stairwell here and lights on obviously i haven't put any lights down here because i'm about 500 lights in now and obviously they take 25 pc per light so i thought as i'm going down just use less lights so we've got a long stairwell here and obviously there is room in the middles or in the middle if you wanted to open it up if you wanted to Obviously, we come down to the last level I've made, and like I said, the rest of it just like goes all the way down to there, that's the bottom. Yeah, you know, the rest of it could be filled out however you want. You could do all your plumbing. You don't. There's no plumbing needed to, to have the base, but if you wanted to add weapons or anything else that you want, you can add what you like. Obviously, we have the ZPM room, which we have three zero point modules. Which you press the button. Up. Now, obviously, there's nothing similar in respect to ZPMs in the game, so I use these cylinders and just put these pattern on. 
But I did have some armor blocks around this opening, but every time you spawn it in, it merges to the columns, and then obviously they can't come up and down. So obviously I, I had to take them out, leave them in. But I want it to move up and down, so as long as you kind of don't fly, it doesn't really affect you. And there we have it, guys. That is basically every level of my Atlantis main tower. Like I said, it's completely customizable. You could do whatever you like with it. You know, add things, make it like a massive battle tower if you want to. There's me uh, elevator gone. Yeah. It took me. A, it took me a long time to get everything I wanted wanted right on this. But there's no actual floor plans to to the tower. There there are set plans, there's room plans, but the only room that essentially one plan is the gate room so i got the floor plan for the gate room I've got everything for the gate room like you know control room where's office uh briefing room and i pretty well, i've done a pretty good job i think of capturing what it is from the show using space engines blocks which is not easy so the last thing i was going to show you is the jumper bay like the main roof so we're going to go to the jumper bay and we're going to take a jumper out for a spin and I can show you the outside of the tower. So it doesn't matter which jumper you use. Obviously, if you've put one there, that should that should like showcase one. But all the jumpers are connected to a uh, connector. So it engines on. All right. So the bay door is what you call on the sensor. There you go. All right. Oh, and obviously the uh, there's another sensor that actually closes the door as well. So now we're outside in our little puddle jumper. I'll show you the tower. And it's a pretty big tower. I've literally just accompanied the top of the tower, and now the tower would go down another about 100 meters, give or take, you know, which is like another same height as what I've built it. You know? But obviously, I've run out of PCU, I'm literally halfway through the PCU, so I've literally just done it like the top of it, and you can kind of play it like the episode in season two, The Tower, where all, all that is standing of a city ship is the tower. So, yeah. So yeah, leave your thoughts on on the Atlantis Tower and what you think of the gate room and that. And obviously, that's that like a laser. See the two dots. And I've got rocket pods on there. Is that like a new feature? And it's like two little dots. Crazy. Probably where missile turrets come out. Not noticed that before. Yeah. So yeah, if you like the content and you like the build, please hit that like button. Don't forget to comment your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe as well. It, like I said, does help me out a lot. Oh. I need to learn. I need to learn how to fly. <laughs> All right. Make sure this works going down. There it goes. go jumper in so there you have it then folks that is the end of the showcase i've been dr mckay thank you all for watching this atlantis tower showcase video the uh blueprint will be up on mod.io as soon as the video is live so just go to the link in the description and you can go download it yourself and uh yeah until the next time i've been dr mckay i'll see you there Cheers.